song starts with an A minor chord. I'm going to use the thumb to hug over the top of the 5th fret of the low E. Third finger on the 7th fret of the A. Pinky finger on the 7th fret of the D. And then a first finger bar across the G, B and high E strings. If you can't play this chord, you can play it as a full bar. If you're not comfortable playing bars yet, you can also play it as an open A minor chord. The second chord we're going to go to is an F chord. Same thing, thumb over the top, you can't do that, full bar, failing that, a G is an open chord. And the last chord is an F with the thumb over the top, and again you can change that for the open bar chord there, sorry, the F bar chord, or an open F chord. Whatever you're comfortable with. So there's three different levels there really, so thumb over the top version, full bar chord version, A minor, G, F, or the A minor open, G open, and any version of an F chord that you know already. So you can still play along regardless of what kind of level you're at on the guitar. Let's take a look at the strumming for this song. I'm going to show you the chords as they're played on the record with the thumb over the top. That way we can play the little melodies that Damien Rice plays in the song. The first thing we're going to do is aim for the bass strings, these lowest four strings on the guitar. And we're going to hit them twice. And as soon as we've hit them, we're going to release the pressure with the left hand to cut the chords off short. On the third strum, we're going to aim for the higher strings. So, them strings there. And we're going to hammer on to the G string at the seventh fret with the pinky finger. So take it off the D and hammer it on to the seventh fret of the G. With the next strum, we kind of miss the strings. And we just got a little muted hit of the guitar. So. Then we're going to strum up and the pinky finger is going to go back onto the D string of the 7th fret. And that's going to be our kind of um, accented beat there. So we really want to hear that stand out in the chord progression. And we're going to start the next bar with an up and a down strum. And then we're going to mute the strings after the down strum. So, so it would be. Then we kind of repeat from there. So after the up and down, we go back to the hammer on with the mute straight after. So the hammer on's on the G string, the seventh fret still. So the whole thing. three times, so the whole thing there, down, down, hammer on, muted hit, up with the pinky back on, then we've got the up and down, then the hammer on again, mute strum, up again, with that accented beat, up, down again, then we're back to the hammer on, mute strum, up strum with the accent, pinky finger back where it was, and then the up and down strum. Okay, so the whole thing there. slower okay and then we're going to transition to an F chord before we go to the F chord we're going to play this G chord just as a little passing chord we're going to hit it once um, so the chord itself is a thumb over the top on the third fret there and then the third finger on the fifth fret of the A pinky finger on the fifth fret of the D second finger on the 4th fret of the G string and then the 1st finger bar across the B and the high E strings at the 3rd fret. Okay, so that's G. But before we play it, we're actually going to strum the strings with no pressure whatsoever on this left hand then we get that muted sound. And then we'll hit the G as an up strum and release the pressure. That's our accented beat again there. Okay, so coming out with the A minor. 
like that. So that's the third time round on the A minor there. So mu, up strum. And then we're into the F chord. So it's the same voice and again, thumb over the top. It's exactly the same voice as the G, just down two frets. Thumb over the top on the first fret, the low E. Third finger on the third fret of the A. Pinky finger on the third fret of the D. Second finger, second fret of the G. And a first finger bar across the B and a high E at the first fret. Nice. Strumming's exactly the same as it is for the A minor chords. We've got the two bass note strums. And we release the pressure straight after there. On the third hit, we're going to aim for the higher strings on the guitar, but we're going to take the second finger off the G string and hammer it, hammer it back on. Then we've got the muted hit, and then an up, up strum with an accent. And then the two up and down strums, with the pressure released after the down. So. And that repeats like it does to the A minor chord three times. And then on the way back to the A minor chord, we do exactly the same as we did the first time. So we've got the muted strum on the G and one up strum before we go back into the A minor. Okay, so the whole pattern for the verse. going to transition to the bridge. So the bridge comes in after the third time through the F chord on the verse. Now usually when we finish the F chord we have a muted down strum and an accented up strum on the G chord. We're actually going to play those two beats on the F chord and then we're going to move to a G for a full bar. So let's imagine we're in the third time through the verse on the F. So we've got the and then we've got the but on the F chord instead of the G and then we're into the G. And we've got a full bar of the G, we don't have to worry about any hammering on or anything, we just keep the strumming similar to what we've been playing. Then to the F. G. And the last hit on the F chord, we mute it before we go back into the A minor chord. So once through the bridge, we're coming out of the verse. Sometimes on the bridge section, when we're transitioning back into the chorus chord, the A minor chord, uh, we will hit the F after the slap to slide back into the A minor. It depends on what version you're listening to. On the version I'm going to link to, he will do that, um, but in some versions he doesn't. He just goes straight to the A minor chord and doesn't have anything in between the slap, muted hit, and the chorus. So the chorus strumming is exactly the same as the verse. We're just going to spend less time on the A minor chord and less time on the F chord, so we're just going to spend one bar on each. And the passing G chord only happens from the F to the A. So it's the same starting, the muted, the two bass note hits, with the release of pressure, then the riff. Then we've got the two hits that would be on the G on the A minor there. Then straight to the F. Same as normal, but just once through the F passing chord, uh, G passing chord, sorry. And that's the chorus. So there's one other section in the song, and it's a mid eight section. It's, uh, it's going to be a C chord, but not as you would normally play it. We're actually going to play the normal C chord. Put the third finger up onto the low E string at the third fret and the pinky finger where the third finger has just come from on the third fret of the A string. This is still a C chord, it's just got this fifth in the bass, this third note here, this G in the low E string. And then after that chord we're going to go to an E7, so a secondary dominant chord. Then we go to an A minor chord, we're going to get a little melody note on top. The pinky finger there at the third fret of the high E string. And then we go to an F chord. So C, E, 7, 
A minor, pinky finger on the third fret of the high E, then to F, and then we'd be strumming. And we'd have one of those muted stops again before we go back into the chorus chords of A minor. Or the thumb over the top, whatever version you're playing. Let's take a little look at the strumming for the mid eight section. Start off on your C chord. We're gonna open up the strumming so we don't wanna hear any muting strums. It's all gonna be full on strumming. Um, similar as well in kind of strumming pattern to what we've been doing for the verse and choruses and bridges. So start on the C. E7. A minor. Melody on top. F. C. E7. A minor, melody, F. We're going to hit it dead after a few strums there, and then we hit it again, and transition into this A minor chord, or A minor bar chord, whatever version you're playing. So, 